prepare yourself, media junkies. This is Chris. We're talking through the medias, and I am about to do my reaction to the gameplay footage of Spawn from Mortal Kombat. Now, I am I've been looking forward to this for a long, long time. The only reason why I bought the damn game was because I heard Spawn was gonna be in it. I got the pack, I got everything, I'm ready for Spawn, and he's not even available to play right away. So that's what I was disappointed about. What I was trying to find out. Which, who was going to do the voice of Spawn? Are they going to hire somebody new? Somebody? Was, are we going to get Keith David? We're going to get Michael Jill White? That's the only thing. Oh, shit, they could have got me. I could. They took everything from me. I've been buying these comic books for a long time, man. I I, I have a lot of Spawn comic books. I had to stop for a while, but I got from number one through almost like two hundred and something. I think I, I got a, a good box of them. I might get back into buying more again. I want to get. A spawn like statue I kind of thing like probably sit right here my favorite comic book character besides um, spider-man uh, and Batman I love spawn man I even got the Batman meets spawn uh, book somewhere around here man we got to talk about that but without further ado let's, let's just get right into this uh, this gameplay here and let's see if it's gonna live up to the hype go blood and gore Ooh. All perched up, baby. Together, we can purge the ten hell. Yeah, so that is only if you follow yeah. the lead. That, that, that's Keith's voice. That's that's his voice. That's his voice. Let's check out this. See, I like. Okay, they got the. That's the one with the big boot, spike boot. No, oh, he's got the machine gun. He teleporting just. Him and Scorpion got the same powers almost. I didn't I didn't think about that. The chains whipping. Whipping like he's stir Oh, he pulling out all kinds of Oh, so he can fly! Oh man. You get over here, no bitch, you get over here! <laughs> No, reptile pulling out the pulling out the kitchen sink. What the, the, you forget, man. That Sam boy, that more military now. Military man. It, oh, he, the way the way his shadow, that that phantom look when he goes all black. I oh, incorporated that into it. That's perfect. This. That, oh. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, that that wasn't the finisher. Oh, 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 Malboja. They gonna bring in Malboja. Oh, man. I wonder if they're gonna have that. I, I heard, I think I read somewhere that they're gonna have the, um, they're gonna have the, uh, the health meter that not, that was starting off with 999999. I don't know, um, I don't know if they're gonna do that, uh, health meter thing again, but I, I'm looking for it. Like, obviously, they got the green with that necro, whatever, plasm, whatever that blood was called, uh, in there. Um, they got Keith David, his voice is obviously in there. They took everything from me, they made me. A monster. I wonder if Clown is going to make an appearance in there. Uh, the show Malboja. It, uh, it's just that that whole. I wonder what happens when you beat the game. I, I I'm going. I'm shutting everything down. The only person I'm playing with is Spawn. I gotta beat the game. I gotta. I, I'm thinking about that issue of the comic book where he finally kills Malboja. He chops his head off. That that image of, of him holding the, the blade and, and Malboja's head in the other hand and ah, like that. And victorious Spawn is now the ruler of hell. You know. And he, um, 
And, and if they're going to go with that storyline, that whole thing with him and Scorpion, man, Scorpion, I'm sorry, man, Scorpion, you don't want none of Al, man, Al, man, that's dude military train, uh, uh, a ruler of hell, man, this dude kills uh, 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 Malboja, so um, that whole take my lead thing now, uh, I just, I just got to know the direction that they're going to go, because I've been playing, I've, I've had spawn uh, video games in the past. I, I had a Dreamcast at that spawn fighting game. That was some terrible graphics, but I played the hell out of that game. Um, I like the fact that they incorporate, see spawn is like a boogeyman. You don't, you really, the, the first uh, the first time Todd McFarlane really drew spawn, it was just that, that red cape and the eyes, the green glowing eyes and just a shadowy figure, all black. Really, you're not really supposed to see much of Spawn. I like the fact that they incorporated a lot of his his costume from the uh, early com uh, first uh, couple of issues of the comic book uh, to the later adaptations with uh, Greg Capullo drawing it. You didn't think? Well, I'm telling you, man. I'm a, I'm a fan, dude. I'm a fan uh, of Spawn of his artwork. That's the best person who's ever drawn Spawn. I mean, I love Todd McFarlane the way he draws, but Greg Greg crushed it. And then when he stopped drawing uh, Spawn for a while but he stepped he kept coming back to do the covers one of some of the best artwork you've ever seen greg capullo um when when i, I stopped i stopped collecting the uh, issue so you guys gotta let me know if it's even worth buying uh or coming back to spawn i think of uh, something around like 250 maybe is where i stopped or two some two i don't i gotta double check uh, but let me know if you think, if, where's Spawn at now? I heard that he's going through some wild changes. Um, and and the, the story's probably departed far beyond where it started. I, my favorite issues was when Spawn was going all over the world, when he just, uh, I think after he just killed Malboja or something like that, after issue 100, where he uh, was just like quantum leaping uh, in places where, where tragedies just happened and he was like passing judgment on everybody. Uh, one of my favorite situations was when these these college boys like got sexually assaulted and killed this girl, and they all had a different story, version of what of what really happened. One dude tried to blame some unidentified black guys, said these brothers came in and his soul brother number one came in, they killed her and they they took off running. We thought we tried to save her and she was already dead. But you know, you know how those people are, right? You know how they are. And like Swan's like, mm -hmm. not knowing that Al was black, man, I was like. My, that was my. Those were my stories. So I'm, I'm curious on, on how, uh, how much Todd McFarlane uh, influenced it, um, where he's at right now uh, with the whole movie. Uh, I, I'm mad that, that HBO didn't go through with the Spawn the animation, another series of Spawn cartoons. They, they, that's probably some. Maybe instead of a movie, maybe maybe there should be a Spawn series, a, a Sam and Twitch series instead of trying to force these movies uh in because todd is getting in the way man um that's probably the way it should be going let me know what you guys think man uh are you excited as i am to play this game and and do you think this might uh, bring back some some excitement i'm bringing the, the new movie out with with uh jamie fox starring uh a cast to play spawn uh, uh, Keith, uh, Keith, uh, David back as the uh, as the voice. Uh, you know, I, I used to love the way he would say Wanda, and he would go back and forth with uh, uh, with a clown. Uh, <laughs> he said, yeah. he said, uh, uh, what did he, what did clown say? He said, you know, hell spawn. Hey, it's what you are, baby. Uh, you know, we got the match, and you're the guy that's ready. You know, we kept, we kept going them on, and he kept calling. He said, "Listen, fat boy." I mean, it was just—it was like the best back and forth. He's like, he's like, "Oh, I don't think you uh, realize who you're messing with, man. I think it's time for you to find out." And the first time he turned into the violator, oh man, it was—it's—I'm telling you, man, Keith David from from Gargoyles to Spawn, man, has the best voice for these types of characters. And I'm glad that the whole flying, the, the flying, and the and the fact that they incorporate the the, the military stuff, the great weaponry, and the and the tactical fighting, the, the combos, the, those combos was sick. The the, uh, the fact that he was a shadow throughout the most of those where he would uh, where he would have moments of like like just totally disappear. Not not, not that that straight up vanishing thing that he did, which Spawn can do, but that whole just the cape and all black within himself and all you can see is his eyes 
that is spawn. I think Tom McFarlane said it himself, oh, be still my beating heart, where, where his character is coming. You can tell Todd probably had his fingers on the pulse of this. He's like, no, that's got to happen. Spawn's got to be a dark, like 99% nothing but black image. And at some points when he's when he's attacking, all you need to see is his eyes, the cape, and darkness. That is Spawn. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think, man. Tell me what your favorite Spawn moments are in the co in the comic books, the movie, um, the animated series, uh, or or any of the video games, man. And, and how much you, uh, you're excited about this, man. Let's talk about it below. Uh, and until next time, guys. Hey, peace.